Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Smart. Our true topic is torsion analysis of a circular shaft using uh, curve of simulations module. The main goals of this current workshop is how to calculate the shear stresses and twist angles analytically and comparison of the numerically calculated shear stress by third works with analytic results and how to obtain shear stress across the diameter of the shaft and how to plot shear stress states at extreme points of the shaft and how to calculate the twist angles using solver simulations and comparison of the twist and that twist angles with analytic results so let's start our problem again Select the right plane, sketch, click on sketch, sketch a circle, dimension the circle of dia 100, exit the sketch, click on features and click on extrude box, enter the depth value of 10,000 millimeter. So we have the model of simple circular shaft in SOLIDWORKS. We will enter in the SOLIDWORKS simulation module. Click on simulations again. Click on new study. Give it, give the name as torsion. Static. Okay. So first of all, assign the materials of a steel. Okay, click on now this and the fix. This is the fix end. So just simply right click on fixture and select the fixed geometry and select this end. Okay. So before going moving forward, we will go some theory. In this section, we have studied a total behavior of circular shaft. The shaft is made of a steel with a shear module, modulus of this uh, 2 gigapascals. Length is 1000 meter, radius is 50 millimeter. The shaft is fixed at one end and the torque of 10,000 millimeter is applied at the other end. The circular shaft has a polar moment of inertia of this, this and the maximum shear stress occurs at the outer edge of the cross section can be calculated from this term x equal to shear stress is equal to ta or ta r over j so putting this value we can insert the maximum shear stress that is 50.9 megapascal the twist angles can be calculated from the this is basic formulas putting the values of the torque length uh, polar moment of inertia and shear modulus the twist angle is 0 0.012 for radian so this is the simple our problems that we have made in form works so again we come back so we will apply the torque on this surface and torque direction will be the circle about this surface so right click on the external load select the torque be carefully face it for torque this is box face it for torque click select this face now invoke the this box this is X is a cylindrical face of for the direction. So select the cylindrical face for direction. This select this face for directions. So put the value ten thousand. You can reverse the directions. So and an other support is click on the fixture, select the ruler and stuff sliders, select uh, the this surface. So we have applied all bounding condition on our problems. So again, uh, this end is the fixed end. So we have applied the torque on this space, torque of ten thousand newton meter and 
this for this phase we applied the ruler and slider support on this phase okay just simple run the study and wait assumption complete so okay you can see here the stress control up here right click on stress edit definitions select the shear stress star x y uh, change in to mega pascal okay So you can see in the shear stress is just a 52 mega pascal. You can see this is the scale has not uh, user we, um, wow, how much long scale we are using. We should uh, reduce the scale to true scale. Click on the true scale. So you can see here the. Uh, how a shear stress is acting at the outer edge. Uh, this is the 52 mega Pascal. You can see we have calculated this for stress analytically. Come back to the problem 52 pent, and there is a little much difference up here. So, uh, next, up uh, next, uh, so the shear stress results are very close to the analytical results. So we will obtain the shear stress at the center of the shaft we here. We will obtain the shear stress at here. How? How? If we can obtain the shear stress here, just go on the plot tool and select the section clipping method. From the plane select uh, from the this plane from the top and uh, from section tool select the right. Okay, enter the mid of the distance at the 50. Okay, so you can see the we can plot stress here at this part. Right click, probe, select this, select the different point. on this edge ok plot the shear stress at the center you can see the shear stress how shear stress the where is from the here is the minus negative minus 52 and here is a plus 52 so how shear stress is going linearly at the center So, you can see that uh, we can plot a uh, shear stress at these points at point A and the point B. So, please uh, see the graph here. If you consider this point A this and consider this point B, the shear stress uh, along this is the 51 mega Pascal in this direction. But at this direction, the shear stress has same amplitude, but the negative directions. Similarly, the shear stress in y directions parallel to the y axis is the same. The y axis, a similar shear stress on the this is the same. I can show the one see the shear stress is uh, varies from minimum at center at varies as we move outwards uh, we also this is uh, you can see you can also check that this uh, there is only one non zero shear stress components stress components uh, on in this current study that is the shear stress xy and beside this all the stress components will be zero we can examine this let let change Click on sigma x. So you can see the shear stress from here is no no shear stress. Point point zero zero one is about zero. Similarly, you can 
evaluate all other uh, five components these all will be zero okay now you calculate the twist angles how to calculate the twist angles okay just simple uh, right click uh, double click the displacement oh, this is again so I have, we will use a large scale uh, right click on the display displacement edit definitions select the displacement in the y directions use it to scale okay So, twist angle can be calculated by just uh, doing the maximum and minimum displacement at extreme edges at this point at this point a simple formula is that the twist angle will be calculated uh, by adding the displacement and divided by, by 100 edit definitions again we will plot the maximum and minimum displacement just uh, right click use the probe you can see here the maximum displacement is here just dark blue please note that is a point zero one six eight and maximum is here, here 0 0.063 so neglect the minus symbols 0 0.63 and 0 0.68 just add these both ex displacement at extremes and divide by 100 you can calculate the twist angle that is 0 0.01249 that is in which is is consistent with the value that was that we have calculated in this chart we should remember this is the twist angle that was we calculated analytically so hence we have proved that the servers have a capability to solve the problems whose results are, is, are very uh, very are near close to the analytical results so, I hope you have enjoyed my tutorials and please again I request to subscribe, like and share my channel. Okay, goodbye, take care.